It's the start of a school day in India. Back straight, hands on your knees. And students at the Alcott School in Chennai assemble. Their principal leads them in a song about equality, a key concept at the school, founded to help the most disadvantaged. I want the school to be an empowered school in the community, where children are equal to any other uh, good school in the community. Here, there's time for silent meditation, then instructions for the day. Ten-year-old Anandi arrives late. Her mother stops to make sure her face is clean. Anandi's mother works long hours selling flowers on the roadside. Children here come from very poor families, where the cost of a school uniform or even a notebook is a burden. Anandi eagerly takes her free uniform. She tells me, after school, we go to get flowers with my mother. We help her. After finishing work, we all go home. I will wash the clothes, get water, and help with the dishes. School is a refuge from a difficult life. Such attention would be rare at home, where poverty presses in. Parents, because of the pressures that they face, because they have, don't have enough money, they don't give children enough time. But here, happy sounds help drown out the outside world. 14-year-old Deepak Raj wants to be a software engineer. He says, I love this school because I have good teachers. But keeping well-trained teachers takes money. For this, the school has turned to the charity Asha for Education. Asha has chosen this school and a select list of others to benefit from its annual fundraiser asking people to donate one hour's salary or more. It's called the Work an Hour campaign. You can donate a, an hour's worth of your time and it can uh, do wonders for uh, children in India. So you, you're just sitting in your desk or doing whatever you do and uh, you're helping out uh, children back in India. Where there are long lines of needy. Lakshmi wants her students to help themselves. I want them to be very hardworking, to realize that they have to work harder than most people have to. That's certainly the case for Anandi. So, after school, she heads off with her brother and sister to help their mother work. A long day and a long road ahead. Liz Nislaw, CNN, Chennai, India.